back to the Clydesdale Rider. Today we're going to be doing a tubeless tire conversion on my Trek Stash 8. The full stash already comes with a set of XR4s which are tubeless ready and a set of rim strips. So today all we need is a set of valve stems, a tool to work on your bike, some levers, and tire sealant. I'm also going to be using some gloves. Alright, first thing I did was I put the gears on the lowest gear possible. That's just how I like to do it. Some people use the top gear. Um, I guess it's a matter of personal preference that you can look out for your specific bike. Next thing you want to do is loosen your th through axle. Slide this guy out, pop the tire off. Pretty easy. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is unscrew the valve stem, unscrew the actual valve, and let the air out. All right, once your tire is deflated, go ahead and grab that valve stem base screw. This one has two. And screw those off so you can actually get the tube out. And you'll be able to get the tube out no problem. Alright, well, I broke my levers and I don't have any spares, so I'm going to use a couple screwdrivers to get this tire off and a couple rags. And the reason I'm using the rags is I don't want to scratch up the tire. So I'm going to put this guy right under there. I get my second one. Get the same thing. And again, use screwdrivers at your own risk. My thought process is I'm going to probably scratch the wheels anyways when I'm riding. Put the second one on. And then just do the one corner of the wheel. And once you get it going, it pops off pretty easy. Turn it back around to your valve. You can see here the tubes in there. And just pull it on out. For this procedure, you do not have to remove the whole tire. All right, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is get your valve stems ready. These are the ones that I got because they match my, my bike because I'm going with the orange theme. You can get whichever ones you want. Um, these ones are pretty simple to install. Unscrew the cap. Pull the gas or the o ring off. And then all you're going to do is seat these in the bell hole. So I'll put this guy, you can see here, goes right in here. And then you're going to want to put that rubber o-ring back on to get a good seal. And throw your nut on here. Just tighten. And you want to make sure it's nice and tight so you don't have any leaks. And I 
like this stands no tube sealant. Um, if you look on the back here, it does give you the recommendations on how much to use per tire. So I have about 100 milliliters left in this bottle, so I'm going to dump that in there because it says two and a half to four inch tires to use 90 to 100. So finish this off. So now you take your stands, no tube tire sealant or whatever you're using, and I already have 100 milliliters left, which is about four ounces, and you just dump it in there. sealing around. And when you get to the end it gets a little tighter. You can use your levers or I'm going to use a screwdriver. Run that sealant through the tire really good. And then I'm gonna get my pump and start pumping. All right, so now it's time to put air in. Basically just start pumping and get that bead sealed. These tires are a little harder to get going than my other bike, but there we go, we are starting to get some air. And you want to hear that pop. It's the bead seating on the rim. You have an air compressor, it makes it a lot easier. There we go. Now that the air is back in, I want to make sure there's no leaks. Everything's seated properly. Just inspect the line on the wheel and the tire. Sometimes you'll see the distance is the same, but it's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to throw this back on. Basically do the reverse of what we did and took it off. And just be careful that you're on the right gear to start with. Tighten that. There you go. And then line up your brake rotor. Perfect. Put your throw axle back in. Just be careful that you're on the right gear that you started with. So tighten that. There you go. And then line up your brake rotor. Perfect. Put your through axle back in. Now you're ready to do the front. Now you're ready to do the front. I've got my tool here because I don't have quick release axles on my stash. That comes off pretty easy. Just take that through axle out. Take the wheel off and just repeat the same process that we did on the back tire. So, a little bit of gunk on it.
Once you're done there, all you gotta do is tighten up your valve stems. Throw your cap on. You're ready to go. All right guys, well if you stuck with me this long, feel free to like this video and subscribe. I'll try to get some more videos out here soon, but we're ready to go with tubeless tires on my Stash 8. Thanks for watching.